The Pachet Lao was a communist political movement and organization in Laos, formed in the mid-20th century. The group was ultimately successful in assuming political power in 1975, after the Laotian Civil War. The Pachet Lao were always closely associated with Vietnamese communists. During the Civil War, it was effectively organized, equipped and even led by the Army of North Vietnam. They fought against the anti-communist forces in the Vietnam War. The Pachet Lao were the Laotian equivalent of South Vietnam's Viet Minh and later Viet Cong, and Cambodia's Khmer Rouge. Eventually, the term became the generic name for Laotian communists. Organization, the political movement of the Pachet Lao was called first the Lao People's Party and later the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. Key Pachet Lao leaders include Prince Sufan Avong, Kazin Phum Vihane, Fumi Vong Bihit, Nuak Phum Savan and Kaum Tay Siphon Don. The political wing of the Pachet Lao, called the Lao Patriotic Front served in multiple coalition governments, starting in 1956. Through the 1960s and 1970s the Pachet Lao battled the Royal Lao government during the Laotian Civil War, gaining control of the north and east of Laos. The Pachet Lao gained power throughout the country by the spring of 1975. In May, the US-backed Vientiane government fell and the Lao People's Revolutionary Party formed a new government. History the organization can trace its roots from the Second World War just as the Khmer Issarak in Cambodia and the Viet Minh and Vietnam People's Army in Vietnam did in the war as well. Its original name has been forgotten but in 1950 it was renamed the Pachet Lao, when it was adopted by Lao forces under Prince Sufan Avon, who joined the Viet Minh's revolt against the colonial French authorities in Indochina during the First Indochina War. Prince Sufan Avon who had spent seven years in NHA Trang during his 16 years in Vietnam, met Ho Chi Minh, and acquired a Vietnamese wife while in Vietnam, solicited Viet Minh aid in founding a guerrilla force. In August 1950, Su Phan Vong joined the Viet Minh in their headquarters north of Hanoi, Vietnam, and become the head of the Pachet Lao, along with its political arm dubbed Neo Lao Isra. Pachet Lao found resistance government with members, Su Phan Vong, Kazin Phum Vihain, Nuak Phum Savan, Fumi Vong Bihit, Suk Vong Sok, Seethan Kamadam, Fei Dang Lobliye. This was an attempt to give a false front of authority to the Lao communist movement by claiming to represent a united non-partisan effort. Two of its most important founders were members of the Indo-Chinese Communist Party, which advocated overthrow of the monarchy as well as expulsion of the French. In 1953, Pachet Lao fighters accompanied an invasion of Laos from Vietnam led by Viet Minh forces. They established a government at Vinkshe in Haofan province in northeast Laos. The communists began to make incursions into central Laos with the support of the Viet Minh, and a civil war erupted. The Pachet Lao quickly occupied substantial sections of the country. The 1954 Geneva Conference agreements required the withdrawal of foreign forces, and allowed the Pachet Lao to establish itself as a regime in Laos' two northern provinces. The Viet Minh North Vietnamese, in spite of the agreement, never really withdrew from the border areas of Laos and the Pachet Lao continued to operate almost as a branch organization of the Viet Minh. Two months after the conference, the Viet Minh North Vietnam formed the Unit Group 100 with headquarters at Ban Namio. The unit effectively controlled and directed the Pachet Lao movement. It was formed into an official party, the Lao Patriotic Front, in 1956. Its stated goal was to wage the communist struggle against capitalism and Western colonialism and imperialism. Unstated was its subordination to Communist Party of Vietnam. A coalition government was established in 1957 between the monarchists and communists, but it collapsed in 1959, bringing about a resumption of fighting. By the late 1950s, North Vietnam had occupied areas of eastern Laos. The area was used as a transit route for men and supplies destined for the insurgency in South Vietnam. In September 1959, North Vietnam formed Group 959 in Laos with the aim of building the Pachet Lao into a stronger counter force against the Lao royal government. Group 959 openly supplied, trained, and militarily supported the Pachet Lao. 
The typical strategy during this era was for North Vietnamese regulars to attack first but then send in the patch at Lao at the end of the battle to claim victory. Equals 1960s and 1970s equals, in the 1960s, more attempts at neutrality agreements and coalition government were attempted but as North Vietnam had no intention of withdrawing from Laos, these agreements all failed. By the middle 1960s, the country had fallen into proxy warfare between pro-US and pro-Vietnamese irregular military groups. In 1968, the Army of North Vietnam launched a multi-division invasion of Laos. The Pachet Lao were pushed to the side in the conflict and reduced to the role of an auxiliary force to the North Vietnamese Army. Unable to match the heavy Soviet and Chinese weapons in addition to the numerical strength of the Vietnamese forces, the Royal Lao Army took itself out of the conflict after heavy losses. The Communist forces battled the Royal Lao Army, U.S. irregular forces, and Thai volunteer forces in Laos winning effective control in the north and east. The government itself was effectively powerless. The Pachet Lao held hundreds of U.S. detainees as prisoners of war during and after the Vietnam War. Shortly after the Paris Peace Accords ended U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War, the Pachet Lao and the government of Laos signed a ceasefire agreement, the Vien Tian Treaty, in February 1973. The coalition government envisaged by the treaty lasted only two years. The Pachet Lao refused to disarm and the North Vietnamese Army did not leave the country. In late May 1975, the Pachet Lao, with the direct assistance of the North Vietnamese Army, began attacking government strongholds. With the fall of the South Vietnamese government to the North Vietnamese on April 30, 1975 and the fall of the Cambodian government to the Khmer Rouge on April 17, the non-communist elements of the national government decided that allowing the Pachet Lao to enter power would be better than to have them take it by force. On August 23, 1975, Pachet Lao forces quietly entered the Lao capital city of Vientiane. On December 2, 1975, the Pachet Lao firmly took over the government, abolishing the monarchy and establishing the Lao People's Democratic Republic. Shortly thereafter, the Pachet Lao signed an agreement with Vietnam that allowed Vietnam to station part of its army in the country and to send political and economic advisers into Laos. Vietnam afterward forced Laos to cut any remaining economic ties to its other neighbors, including Thailand and Cambodia. After 1975, the Pachet Lao government of Laos has been accused of committing genocide against that county a Euro unregistered trademark S Hmong ethnic minority. After the Pachet Lao took over the country in 1975, the conflict continued in isolated pockets. In 1977 a communist newspaper promised the party would hunt down the a euro -E american collaborate horse a euro and their families a euro oeto the last route. The government of Laos has been accused of committing genocide against the Hmong, in collaboration with the Vietnamese army, with up to 100,000 killed out of a population of 400,000. With the demise of the Soviet Union, control of Laos by Vietnam waned at the end of the 1980s. Today, Pachet Lao is often invoked as a general term signifying Lao nationalism. See also Indochina, Laotian Civil War, Vietnam War, Lao People's Revolutionary Party. References External links HTTP, www on Wacom Laws 1962 HTM, HTTP, www on Wacom Laws 1954 HTM, HTTP, www.factmonster.com world a0859186 html, http, counter studies us, http, counter studies us 14 htm, http, www.britannica.com article 9058717 slash patchet lao.